everybody welcome back to my channel so today I'm going to be doing a full face I'm um, using this AOA studio 10 piece brush set um, I got this from the shop miss a website and um, if you haven't seen my shop miss a haul um, I mentioned this in my haul and yeah I haven't used this yet so this is going to be a first impression of these brushes and this brush set was ten dollars and it's ten pieces and let me show you guys what it looks like real quick so this is what it looks like so it's on the packaging because I haven't used it yet um, I did give away one of these bigger brushes and um, I actually did use one of the um, smaller brushes it's this one but I have not used any of these so I'm just going to be doing a full face using these and let letting you guys know what I think about them and if they're worth your $10. Um, so just keep watching for the demo and then I'll have the review at the end. So I zoomed you guys in closer so you guys can see a little bit better what I'm doing. So I'm either going to use this uh, buffing brush. It's just a rounded off buffing brush. And this is, uh, it doesn't say what it the brush is for just as F4 or I'm going to use this angled buffing brush which is F3 so I don't know which one to use for my foundation I think I'm going to use the flat rounded out one so I'm going to use that one and I already um, prepped my skin um, I moisturized primed and then I sprayed some Fix Plus on my face because my skin is very dry right now. So um, since my skin is dry, I'm going to use more of a um, dewy foundation because I don't want my skin to get any drier. So I'm going to go in with the LA Girl Pro, Pro Coverage. And I do love this foundation so much. Um, I have been meaning to do a review on this. Um, I will get to that soon. But just so you guys know, I do love this foundation. It's so perfect for dry skin which is what I have. Okay, so I'm just going to um, put one pump and go in with that, and then I'll see how it looks after one pump. Okay, so this is what my foundation looks like using this um, flat buffing brush. Um, it looked really good after the um, first pump and I could have stopped there because it actually did really look really good and I was happy with that. But I just wanted to see how the brush performed with um, two layers of foundation. And I have to say that I'm really, really impressed um, with this brush. I feel like it performs just as well as um, my words. words are there. I feel like this performs just as well as my favorite, my other favorite buffing brush, which is my Morphe M439. Uh, this is uh, bigger, obviously, um, but. Um, yeah, I feel like it performs just as well and there was no hairs on my face. I was expecting to have like hairs um, from the brush like on my face that rubbed off. Um, but yeah, there's no brush, no hairs coming off of this brush at all. And yeah, I'm really, really impressed with how it applied my foundation. So, so far this brush is an A plus for me. So moving on to the next brush, I'm going to do my concealer. I'm going to try out this um, pointed um, brush. This is the F6 one, and like I said, it doesn't say specify what each brush is for, but um, I just figured because of the shape, I could really get in there like that. And yeah, so I'm going to go in with this brush for that.
Okay, you guys, so I just applied the concealer with this um, pointed, uh, I don't know what to call this brush, um, just with this pointed brush. Um, I feel like it did a pretty good job. Um, I'm a big user of the Beauty Blender when applying or when blending out my concealer, so it's kind of different for me to be using a brush right now. I haven't used a brush in a very long time, so it's a little different. Um, I do think it did a really good job, though. Um, it kind of did pick up a little bit too much product right here around my cheeks. That kind of happens anyways with the Beauty Blender also. Um, but I, otherwise, I think it blended it out very easily. It was easy to blend out. Um, it, I don't feel like it absorbed a whole bunch of product. And yeah, I think it looks really good. Okay, so for my under eye powder and baking, I'm going to use this um, angled rounded off buffing brush. Um, I, f I was going to use this flatter one, but I feel like this won't really get into the corners everywhere where I need to be placing it. So yeah, I'm going to go ahead and do that. And this is the F3 one. Okay, so I just applied my under eye powder and I baked with the this F3 brush. Um, for the under eye powder, I feel like it placed it very well under my eye. Um, it didn't move any product around, which I really, really like. And yeah, it just, I think it worked really well um, to apply my under eye powder. For the baking, it did a good job as well. Um, it was a little bit more messier than if I were to use my beauty blender um, but it got the job done and I did apply a little bit right here too um, this brush is really soft really 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 soft um, but yeah I think it did a good job with um, setting my under eye powder um, more so than it did with um, placing my powder to bake um, so definitely for um, setting your under eye powder this is a good one and I haven't had any hairs fall out of any of these brushes yet, which is amazing because um, my Morphe brushes actually shed and these are not shedding at all. And I actually do have shedding with my Morphe brushes. So the fact that these were a dollar each and they're not shedding is amazing to me and I'm loving it so much. Okay, so now for contouring, I think I'm going to use one of these smaller brushes for um, cream contouring and then I use one of the bigger ones for um, the powder contour. So I'm just going to apply some LA Girl Pro Conceal and the small brush I'm using is the E102 brush and it's like an angled flat brush and I'm just going to use this to kind of define out um, the cream um, concealer. I'm not really liking this brush to blend out the contour, so I'm going to try to go in with this uh, bigger um, F2, which is the bigger um, flat um, angled brush. So I'm going to see how that works better. So this brush was definitely better. I blending out the cream contour and then this smaller one. So I'm going to use the same brush to go in with powder contour now. Okay, you guys, so I would say that for cream contour, I don't like this brush very much for cream, con cream contour. Um, maybe another one of these, like the angled uh, buffing brush would work better. Um, but for the powder contour, I did really like this. Um, and this is the first brush where there's like a, a tiny little hair sticking out. But it's the first one and it's like just sticking out. It's not actually like coming out. It's just like sticking out from there. Um, but yeah, this is good for powder, for contour. I didn't like too much. Um, but yeah, so this one is also good as well. Um, not my favorite brush out of the larger face brushes. Um, the lar the brush that I gave away was a flat one like this, but it wasn't angled. It was the flat version, and it wasn't rounded off. It was just 
flat. Um, but yeah, I gave, I gave that one to my mom. And um, this is like that one, but angled. And this is not my favorite brush out of the bunch. Maybe if I used it for um, foundation, I would like it better. But uh, it did do good for powder. And I'm actually going to use the same brush um, to apply some blush. So I just did my brows real quick. And now I'm going to... Um, try to use some of these other brushes um I'm probably not going to use all of them honestly you guys these brushes are like way too big for my eyeballs um for not for my eyeballs for my um lid they're just like really huge like like they're so big um if you have a lot of lid to work with then these would be perfect um but these are kind of too big. The only thing I can see myself using for, like, say this one, I can use it to set my whole lid with some powder. So let me do that real quick right now. And this is um, the E103 brush. It's like a rounded um, buffing brush. So I'm just going to use that one to set my lid real quick. And it'll just set your lid really quick because it's so big. Well, at least for me. So that's what I can use that one for. The E104, I could probably use to in my crease. So let me see, let me grab a shade. So I could probably use this one in my crease. But it's still kind of too big for my crease, honestly. But yeah. I could probably use this one for highlights. So let me go ahead and try and do that. And I just picked up the Carly Bible palette real quick. So I'm just going to grab the highlight shades uh, to highlight a little bit. And I think this one's really good if you like really want to have like a strong highlight to really pack it on. And this one was the 101 brush. I could also use it to highlight my brow bone. And yeah guys, I think that is all um this is how my full face looks after using the 10 piece aoa brush set so it's this buffing brush this angled buffing brush this flat angled brush and then this pointed foundation brush the face these were the face ones that i used and then um i used some of these ones that are supposed to be for the eyes um like I said, they're too big for my eyes, but I feel you can use them um, elsewhere. You can use them to um, apply your concealer. Um, you can use it to blend out your concealer if you wanted to. You can use it to highlight, to blend out cream contour, um, to set your whole lid with um, pow oh, with the all-over lid shade. Uh, you can use it to contour your nose. Um, so these really come in handy too. So these are all the brushes that I used. And yeah, I'm really, really, really impressed with these brushes, you guys. Um, so I give these brushes an A+. Plus. Um, like I said, no shedding came off of these brushes, which is amazing because, like I said, my Morphe brushes even have shedding. And these are only a dollar each. Like, it was $10 for this whole set. And it even came with the um, little travel bag that it comes in. So that's really good too. Like, I just think these brushes are amazing. Um, definitely, I recommend that you go and get these. All for the video, you guys. Uh, this was my full face using the 10-piece AOA brush set from Shop Miss A. I will leave um, the Shop Miss A website down below. And if you guys don't know what the Shop Miss A website is, it's a website where everything is one dollar. They have makeup, accessories, um, skincare. They have a whole bunch of good stuff. Um, if you guys haven't checked out my Shop Miss A haul, 
um, that will be linked now. And um, yeah, I'll also leave a link to the brushes. Um, when I first tried to go get them, they were sold out. So I do not know if they are sold out right now, but I will still leave a link because you can sign up on the mailing list for them to notify you when it is back in stock. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope it was helpful. And if you guys uh, check out, buy these brushes, let me know. And if you guys do have these brushes already, um, let me know what you guys think about them. And I hope uh, this helped you in any way. And before you leave, make sure to subscribe if you haven't yet. And check out all my other videos. Thank you.